hello friends so what we have today here in this session is derived uh, sorry data conversion transformation uh, and apart from that we'll be also learning uh, about the excel source that we have in data flow task so uh, excel uh, by which i mean uh, your excel source uh, or when you're trying to export and import data from to and from excel source things are not uh, pretty simple because first thing excel cannot be treated as one of the uh, database uh, repositories in a standard way i mean it doesn't gel well with any of the rdbms uh, oracle or sql server uh, tables that you may so uh, if you have data in in uh, a s uh, excel source uh, or you are trying to export data to excel destination uh, you are bound to be running into uh, some of uh, some Im issues uh, when you are trying to develop a SSIS package for such ETL transformations uh, and loads. So we'll be trying to uh, take a closer look to that and also we will be uh, getting to know uh, data conversion transformation. I chose uh, uh, the Excel example for data con conversion because it also brings out uh, the most important and the widely uh, used way of data conversion uh, because by default uh, your SSIS works in a, in a, in a for a unicoded data type and uh, so we'll be taking a closer look as to how uh, are we going to uh, uh, see the data, data conversion take place and as well as uh, uh, how the data can be exported uh, into an Excel data so uh, Excel uh, file so uh, what I have here is uh, a couple of things uh, let's just quickly walk through uh, the things that I have here we have two Excel files uh, the first one is a data load XLS which is uh, in uh, XLS format I mean 2003 worksheet format and the other one is the most recent one I mean XLSX which is uh, the 2007 or, or, or the latest uh, office version so these are the two that we have and uh, uh, these are actually uh, simple uh, empty Excel files uh, these are just empty Excel files both of them so and apart from that uh, what we have here is, is, is a table actually uh, which has three columns uh, it's a fictitious employee table which has employee ID employee name and department uh, to put a little stress on uh, the two columns employee name and employee uh, and department are of varchar types if you see uh, that is they are of non unicoded data data type and uh, EID is or uh, employee ID is of an I INT type so we have some records as well uh, we have some four records into into these uh, into, into this uh, this table and we'll uh, we'll perform uh, an export of data from from this table into an XLS uh, des uh, Excel destination if you will now next thing let's move on to uh, our bits this uh, here I have created a project Excel project which is nothing but a uh, an empty project as of now let's just uh, try to start working on this so I pull out the data flow task and uh, the next thing I have is let me bring out an OLE DB source and create a mapping with the dev database and map it to our employee table so we have these columns right right so the next thing uh, I would like to show is first thing let me just uh, try and bring out uh, uh, an important uh, thing is uh, uh, Excel destination right I create an Excel destination and map it directly. Let me just browse it to my C drive and my 2003 worksheet. Okay. Uh, this would create a, uh, if I press the new, it will create a new worksheet. So let me just create Excel destination and say okay so this will create 
Excel destination taller. It it it's actually a worksheet, a new worksheet that has uh, that will be added to your uh, existing. And this is the mapping of the columns, S right? Now it uh, I have done this purposely. Uh, the thing that I want to bring out here is your Excel destination, if you will. Uh, is showing already showing an error if you hover, hover your mouse uh, on the destination it's it's uh, it's saying as uh, the column e name cannot convert between unicode and non unicode string data types see the important thing is here is the oledb data source i mean and the source table that we are pulling out ha is, is having data of non unicode type and, and as i have uh, already uh, uh, told you the thing is ssis works uh, on by default in a unicoded fashion so basically uh, and your excel uh, it, it 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 needs the data to be in unicoded fashion uh, uh, unicoded type uh, and uh, with which it can export the data so if you are trying to uh, simply export the data in this uh, in this way it will it will uh, the package will fail the package will uh, fail so basically here you need a data conversion to happen so let's just delete the constraint and pull out our data transformation I would pull out data conversion here I wanted to uh, show data conversion uh, transformation through this example as uh, this is one of the most uh, important and most widely used uh, uh, way in which uh, data conversion is almost mandatory and uh, this is one of the most common example that you would come across where you would need data conversion to happen so okay next what we do is we try and edit so you would select all the columns for which you need to convert data so uh, this would be your input column and this is the output alias so uh, this is int so this is perfect for me uh, the next would be of unicode so you have to use unicode data type so you would uh, convert your data right so if you see here this is the input column that you have and, and you are uh, uh, creating an output column with the name of copy of EID I mean uh, that's the name and uh, you are giving the data type from the drop down and, and uh, specifically you are creating a unicoded data type as an output if you see here so we are generating a unicoded data type out of a non unicoded so there is a data conversion happening so that's uh, your uh, data conversion task and now we are going to map this to your excel destination and see if that works for us or not uh, let's create a new worksheet here uh, let me call that as a output and uh, let's just keep the three columns that we have and let me edit the column names okay so this would create a new worksheet for you let's map it to output dollar and let's create the mapping so if you see here the mapping is incorrect you have to map it with the data I mean uh, converted data type column so these are the names of the converted data type column if you uh, if you have been carefully looking at uh, this was the alias that we had uh, put there so this is your conversion now and now let's run the package it is going to fail and uh, I'll tell you in a moment why so yeah if you see uh, the package has failed uh, the reason is pretty simple SSIS uh, doesn't uh, provide uh, excel transformations i mean uh, for excel doesn't uh, work in a 64 bit uh, environment so still i mean uh, the driver for uh, for 64 bit is not available while using excel so you have to turn the property i mean uh, let me just 
click on the right click on the project go to the properties and in the debugging mode just turn off your 64 bit runtime you have to use 32 bit uh, for your excel transformation to occur now if i run this package it should work perfect now let's just open and see our data load excel file has the output sheet loaded the data for us perfect if you see it has uh, loaded the three columns that you have uh, uh, i mean the table that uh, data from the table of employee the first column is the co uh, first uh, record set is the column name and the rest of them are the records uh, so that was uh, that was the data loading and the data conversion part apart from that the thing that i want to show is if you are going to work with uh, xlsx file i mean which is the latest worksheet file a uh, file how would you do it uh, i would just quickly show it still uh, people are not a uh, lot of people do not uh, work with so i'll just quickly show how to uh, do that let me just delete this and pull out oledb destination and next thing you would do is edit and create one new this is the important part you are creating a new connection manager while creating if you have installed uh, microsoft office the latest version of the microsoft office uh, on your integration services uh, i mean uh, on which your integration services is running on the system you would be while you drop down native oledb you will find a provider as microsoft office 12.0 access database engine so this is the provider with which you will be able to load or uh, i mean uh, work with the data which is uh, uh, i mean which is having which is into an excel of uh, a latest version of the excel that is 2007 sorry to uh, 2010 or uh, or of the extension xlsx so you need this so remember uh, that if uh, if you have installed microsoft office on the latest uh, on your system latest version you would be able to work with this so next thing do okay and now you will map it to now next thing you would do is just say extended properties excel 12.0 so that's uh, that's about it if you if you just uh, do these things you should be uh, you would be creating a connection and based upon which you can load data but still i mean most of the times uh, uh, people do not uh, have uh, or don't use this uh, form of excel uh, i mean the latest version of xlsx most widely what i have come across still we have the uh, the uh, prior xls uh, files only on which we are trying to work so uh, that was it friends so what we have learned here i mean let me just reiterate there are a couple of things that we have learned first we have seen the data conversion transformation second we have seen how to export data from excel source uh, from uh, f uh, to an excel destination and uh, we are uh, and we have remember that uh, ssis treats the data type uh, uh, default data type for S ssis is of unicoded type so if you are uh, trying to pull out data of, uh, remember to have a data conversion that as we have seen in excel that uh, there has to be a data conversion from a non unicode to a unicoded coded type of data uh, only when your uh, data was a uh, was uh, exported to your uh, destination excel destination and uh, Another thing, uh, another thing that we have uh, seen is your Excel doesn't uh, uh, support that 64-bit driver. So if you are developing an SSIS package which is actually working on Excel's, uh, uh, you have to uh, use the 32-bit runtime. And uh, while the fourth and the last point is, is if you are working with the latest version of Excel, uh, it's it's uh, kind of a little different um, than um, than the prior versions. So the way uh, I have shown you is uh, uh, is how would you would uh, how you would be configuring your Excel uh, while working with uh, your uh, latest version of uh, Excel Excel files. So those were the things that I wanted to show. Hope uh, it will be really helpful and useful to you. Thank you so much.